Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Civilization V. So, uh, I think it's time to set our sights on another war, and the war we're going to probably go for is against uh, Portugal. Um, we're not going to do it just quite yet. We're going to let our cities continue to build uh, up where they're building. We're losing a ton of money, um, which is a problem, uh, mainly in land unit and, and building maintenance. Um, and tile improvement maintenance, so that's a that's a thing. Um, uh, we're we're not moving along in the turns. So yeah, hopefully we'll get that that going soon. But uh, uh, yeah, I want to go to war with uh, these guys down here. I also got to figure out just oh good, we got let, we're not wasting as much money. Um, apparently our our cost just went way down. Not 100 sure why. Our city output went up. And a unit needs orders. My warrior needs orders. I don't know why. I must have accidentally clicked on them. Um, I was hoping I could upgrade them to something else, but I don't have anything apparently I can upgrade them to. That's fine. So yeah, we'll bring down our forces and try to go to war with uh, with uh, the Portuguese in the relatively near future. Um, not right away, but in the relatively near future, I think. Um, what are you about to build? A mint, I believe. Yes. Excellent. So there, we're about to get a mint. Um, cool. We got good strategic resources right now. Uh, oh, I was like, why isn't nothing happening? But yeah, okay, good. We got the mint. Uh, a cargo ship might not be the worst idea in the world as well. Um, the shrine, of course, will help me get, uh, faith, which may, maybe allow me to get the... The, the, I know what I'm trying to say. It may allow me to get the, get the religion first. That's what I was trying to say. But instead, I think I'm going to get that cargo ship. Because I want the money. Money is a big deal. I could probably do a better job with my workers than having them automated. But also having them automated is just makes think life easier for me. Uh, so yeah, um, we've lost our gold per turn with, with, uh, young, young Genghis Khan. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, we have one total trade routes, and I have one total trade units. So yeah, that's not, that's not a big, huge deal. Where could we trade with? Um, some good targets up here that we might be able to trade with, and they do want us to, somebody wants us to complete a, uh, trade thing. That was weird that I just teleported to that side of the screen. Yeah, so I can get swordsmen now. Um, could that mean I can upgrade you? Yes, I can. For 80 gold, I can upgrade you. Or I could just disband you, which may make more sense. Yeah, I'm just going to disband that guy. And then when opportunity arises, I'm going to just build another one. Um, and I also want to build a... Oh, I don't have any new research queued up. God damn it, I keep middle-clicking, hoping I can drag the screen, and it never happens. <laughs> One day I'll figure that out. Um, what do I want? Going for pikemen is not the worst idea in the world. Getting the optics line allows me to go for the compass way down the line. Um, what would give me money? That's what I'm looking for right now. Things that would give me money. Happiness. Any of these generate money? Engineering guilds, I think, is probably the one that I need to look at to get money. Yeah, the East India Company is not bad at all. Artist Guild, uh, Machu Picchu would give me money. Could construct trading posts. Uh, Aqueduct allows me to... Do I have the ability to build bridges? I already got bridge building, right? One of these allows me to build a bridge. Oh, no. Engineering. Let's get engineering right away. And then I do want to get guilds, I think, next. Um, and then probably get one of these two to make people like me better. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. This would give me more science, the National College. One of these gives me better uh, happiness, right? This gives me culture, but it doesn't give me happiness. Um, we'll still get drama and poetry next. We'll just queue up those two for now. Um, let's go. And then yes, I want to start getting to going towards military expansion. Uh, my unhappiness is still down. Why are you guys unhappy? 
silver, gold, sugar, salt. Um, cities connected, that would be good to do as well. Poland is no longer an ally with Panama City. That's interesting. And somebody has entered the medieval enter. Enter, entered the medieval entra is what I said. Era is what I meant to say with the English language. My ability to speak, not so good. I thought I had four and four. Now I've got four and one. Oh, because one's used. Oh, and my, my deal went out. Of course, I forgot about that. So yeah, getting a swordsman might be a good idea here. Um, none of these things would give me any good money. This will give me five gold. Trade routes other players make to a city with the Colossus return an extra two gold from the city owner and trade route owner gains an additional one gold for the trade route. Hmm. Thirteen turns to build the Colossus. Other players make to a city with the Colossus will generate an extra two gold for the city owner. Um... And a cargo, additional trade route slot, and a cargo ship appears there. Um, hmm, interesting. Well, what I'm going to do is get this, uh, get the, the swordsman. Not oh, Maria's entered the medieval era, so everyone's entering the medieval era, so I need to get some tech from everybody. That's my plan. Um, and somebody just completed the Parthenon. Hmm, good to know. Good to know. Oh, we're making money, though, so that's good. Cities connected has increased. Excellent. So, yeah, we're, somebody wants a trade route. Ormus desires a trade route. Panama City is no longer uh, doing something. What did that say? Reduce the mole converters around 30 to gain influence over them. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Um, you want to give me four golds per turn in exchange for gold. Um. Uh, no. Alright, how about this? Come on, give me the thing. Four gold per turn. You already accepted an embassy. Um... All right, let's just do the deal you wanted. I'll take the money because I like the gold. It'll help me uh, with my conquest of you, <laughs> which is what I'm going for. I'm going for the conquest of you, Maria. All right, you, I want you to build... Um, Royal Library would not be bad, but what I want you to build is... Um, circus wouldn't be bad either. But, neither of those things is what I want you to build. Creates a copy of each type of military land unit you control and play. That's an interesting thing. Um, let's have you build the uh, Siege Tower. Siege Towers are going to be really good. And next turn. Alright, come on. Come on, little armies. And then we can take Lisbon, Porto, and whatever else they got here now. I lost more gold per turn from uh, Genghis Khan. It's too bad. Too bad. They want to give me more gold for salt. Can I get even more gold from you? What if I say, like, six? Six. Um, okay. Five. Fine, five. That's fine. I'll, I'll take your original deal for five. It's been allowing me to make money to help fund my soon-to-be war effort. Alright, I need you to move down here. Excellent. And then you, I want you to build um, probably another swordsman and then maybe a siege tower. Um, producing the Colosseum wouldn't be the worst thing in the world or the Terracotta army, but uh, let's get another swordsman, I think. Because like I said, we're going to go to war with uh, with those businesses down there. Somebody's bringing a trade, trade route to us. 
what's the other one I'm going to get here? Bridges establishes an additional trade route. Yep, that's not bad at all. Oh, and I can go. Excellent. So I think, yes, the war, the war will be coming hard and fast to, to our enemies. I can build aqueducts, which is good. Above all the others, the most useful. 40% of food is carried over after a new citizen is born. That is not a bad deal. Um, we're just going to fortify you on the, uh, the border here. I don't know what you just built, but uh, congratulations. Uh, great wall, enemy lane units must expand one extra movement per tile inside your territory. It provides walls for free in the city in which it's built. Upon discovering dynamite, the great wall becomes obsolete. Interesting. Um... The water mill might not be the worst decision. The royal, um, the royal library might not be the worst decision. The coliseum might not be the worst decision. Let's build the coliseum. Next turn. So you're going to establish a trade route between you and somebody, it looks like. If somebody wants a great engineer. That's fantastic for you. Um, let's establish a trade route. Where can I establish a trade route? Lisbon is the only place I could establish a trade route. I would get seven gold. Um, they would get two gold. I would get two science. They would get four science. Uh, if I change my home base to uh, Assure, yes, and then next turn I'll be able to use you here, right? Yeah. And then uh, you want me to build a shrine, which give me faith. Royal Library or Colosseum in Nimrud. Um, what would give me food? What would help me like make the city increase? None of these things. Um, yeah, let's build the Colosseum. You fortify on the border. Who needs production as well? You need production. What did you just build? I don't even know what you just built. But, uh... Circus wouldn't be the worst idea. Royal Library wouldn't be the worst idea either. Um, um, horseman might not be the worst idea either. Let's actually build a horseman. Alright, cool. So we'll build the horseman. I can convert production to wealth. Always a fantastic idea. Genghis Khan is into the medieval era. We're definitely behind. Um, they want open borders. That is not happening. Soon I will be coming down for you, friend. Alright, now let's establish a trade route. I can go to Ormus and get 7 gold in exchange for 2 gold, or these guys for 9 gold for 2 gold. Let's get the two, these guys 9 gold for 2 gold. Fantastic. Uh... And then we should be ready to start the war movement. So let's get, let's start moving troops this way. Yep, we're going to start getting the troops going this way. We have a pretty decent army. Then uh, the siege, the second siege tower, and the uh, um, I apparently kept my expansion promise. Somebody built the terracotta army, and somebody else has entered the medieval era. Yeah, we're behind, for sure. But that's okay. We're going to not be behind soon. We were behind, but we're not going to be behind soon. First, though, I gotta get my, my forces all in the right locations. This is where we're gonna wanna be, because we're gonna wanna blitz towards Lisbon, I think. So you... Yeah, this is where we're gonna wanna go. That's the plan. And who was building that horse guy? You were. It's gonna take forever for you to finish, but that's okay. The war is probably not going to happen until the next episode. Too bad. Too bad. Somebody's enhanced their religion. We don't even have a religion yet. 
cool. Got another one of these guys. Um, yeah, you come on down. You, one of you guys I can probably upgrade. If you were in a city. You, come into here. Stay there. I can probably upgrade you. I have plenty of money for it now. Cool. And then you, yeah, I want you to be here. You're going to come down here because you're going to be the vanguard force. Who needs production? You need production. What can I build that would make sense? Um, Colossus still might not be bad. Um, yeah, we'll do it with Colossus. Fortify. Yeah, the war is probably not going to happen until next episode, unfortunately. Unfortunately. It's time I told them they're denouncing me. Alright, that's fine. I'm building up my military to crush you. <laughs> so I'm glad you've denounced me. You can suck it. Um, you, I want you to come here. You, can't you upgrade? You can to composite bowman. Yeah, we'll upgrade you to the better bowman and get you down here. Come on. Oh, next turn. Duh. So yeah, you are going to be my vanguard. <laughs> I just do this. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. The problem is, is, of course, their territory is in the way. They have some archers right here. Oh, they're no longer denouncing me because it's expired. And we're no longer trading, and my capital has grown. All good things. It's not going to grow anytime soon, though. Look at that number, 110. Um, who needs orders? Alright, let's try this again. You. You come here. You go there. Next turn, you're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. For now, I'm gonna have you go there. You're gonna come here. Uh, you're a worker. You should be automated. You're gonna fortify. Where are those other guys? You. Come over here. <laughs> what is this weird route you're taking? Should possibly consider buying the sugar here, but that's okay. They have cotton that's soon going to become ours because we're going to take Lisbon. We're going to take uh, Porto. It's going to be good. Who needs production? You need production. Um, probably building another horseman here isn't the worst idea in the world. Gonna get this guy down here as well. So I want want you to come here. You to be here. You to be here. You can come here. All right, good. Things things are looking up now. The army's getting in position for the war that will be happening on the next episode. <laughs> Because we're at least uh, a couple turns away from getting my troops into the positions I would like them to be in. They don't appear to have anybody uh, actually in their cities. So yeah, conquering them should... There's only have, I think, three cities, I'm guessing. Um, so conquering them shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do this. You can come here. You can come here. Yeah, and then you'll blitz down this way. You'll blitz forward. Uh, everything will be hunky-dory. Still going to be a couple of uh, turns away, though, before I'm in position to to, to move forward. And then uh, hitting Lisbon with both of the siege towers should be pretty good. I want them to be next to each other. So I want you to come forward. Um, I am the strongest military. Maria is the weakest. Wow, we're about to make her upset with life. 
which is good. <laughs> I'm happy about that. I would love to make her upset with life. Um, I want you to be here next turn. I want you to fortify. I'm probably going to actually drop you into the city and have you come out. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have you do that. All right, cool. So uh, let me get the... the uh, um, we mean no harm. <laughs> uh, the AI is at least a little better than some of the past uh, AIs, but that's okay. You're about to die. You are about to die. I want you to get here. Go here, one more turn, but that uh, we'll have to start and do everything else on the next episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. Again, you know, a little bit of a slow episode, but we're building up for a massive war that we will be pushing against uh, Portugal on the next episode. So until then, I will see you all next time.